out from his hectic campaigning schedule and joining us at the moment is the chief of the AIMIM, Asaduddin Owesi. Mr. Owesi, thanks so much for speaking to us. Let me begin first and foremost with your comments on Rahul Gandhi, which have gone viral. You've launched a sharp attack on Rahul Gandhi and, uh, you know, many believe that politicians normally don't make personal comments, but uh, in Mr. Gandhi's case, you have attacked him personally as well. What prompted you to make that attack? No, but he, he started, he started it. He said that uh, he made this completely absurd uh, and baseless uh, allegation that uh, MIM takes money to fight elections. The man has no sense of responsibility. After having uh, supported the UPA for eight years, Dr. Manmohan Singh as a Prime Minister, and after having supported, supported uh, Dr. Singh at a crucial time of nuclear deal, he should know very well that how much money was given to me. The left parties stood with Mr. Advani at that time. They're standing with him. So then he says that, uh, then he, he said something else also yesterday. So I had to give my reply to him. The, the problem is that people feel uh, very shocked and surprised when a reply is given to Rahul Gandhi. I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I find it normal that a politician will have to give a reply to any politician. Especially a person like Rahul Gandhi, who, who makes, uh, who keeps, makes, uh, making baseless allegations, has no sense of responsibility. He believes in political arrogance and entitlement. So, yeah, that is more the reason to to tell him what is the truth. Recently, these Natu Natu comments that have been made by Priyanka Gandhi also, you know, you see the BJP, the Congress, and all other parties saying, "Ye inke a team hai, inka B team hai." All sorts of charges, counter charges that happen. How do you see these uh, charges coming in? Because everyone seems to be attaching you to their rivals. No, the problem with uh, with both brother and sister is that they believe in politics of entitlement. They strongly believe that. Uh, if you are opposing them, you are not secular. Same as Mr. Modi. If you are opposing Modi, he says you are not nationalist. So these people have this, uh, they, they wrongly assume that they have this uh, monopoly over secularism. They control who is secular, who is communal. So to me, it doesn't make any difference. The people know what we stand for, what we have been struggling so far, what we have achieved so far. So th th these allegations are made, which has no, uh, which has no truth in it whatsoever. <laughs> Yesterday, Yogi Adityanath, while campaigning in uh, Goshamayal, he says that we will rename Hyderabad to Bhagyanagar. This is something the BJP has said earlier, but during the campaign, once again, a promise coming like that from the BJP. How do you see this? Well, the UP Chief Minister, whenever he comes to Hyderabad, he has to uh, make this, uh, this statement. Earlier also, he, made, he, he said the same thing whenever he's, he comes. We are not surprised. It is not going to happen uh, ever, inshallah. We quickly shift our attention to House Days ahead of the upcoming polls in Telangana. Renaming Hyderabad has now taken center stage as one of the main poll issues in Telangana. BJP firebrand Neta and Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, while campaigning in the state, claim that Hyderabad will soon be renamed as Bhagyanagar when the BJP comes to power. He also added that the BJP will change the Bhagya of Hyderabad. Chief Minister Yogi slammed Congress and said the grand old party, uh, in fact, uh, what it is like today, the BJP will be making. King Hyderabad, Bhagyanagar again. 500 years ago, the Ayodhya mein Ram Lala ke Bhagya Mandir mein Ram Lala jaya. Mujhe bataiye, Mujhe bhero, Congress mein to yaha, isko Hyderabad banaya, hum to isko Bhagyanagar banane ke liye. just heard it from Masada the Novesi hitting out of the BJP saying that the BJP cannot rename Hyderabad and its dreams will remain dreams. 
Earlier it was Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma who also said that the BJP would rename Hyderabad as Bhagyanagar within 30 minutes of the BJP coming to power in the state. In fact, he further emphasized that no one will raise a hue and cry if Hyderabad is renamed. Opposition parties though have attacked the BJP for deviating from real issues by raking such issues ahead of polls. देखिए हैदराबाद का नाम बदल के भागनगर कर दीजिए या कुछ और कर दीजिए आखिर उससे जनता को क्या हासिल होने जा रहा है जनता पूरे देश में भारतीय जनता पार्टी से महंगाई बेरोजगारी किसान मजदूर पर सवाल पूछ रही है नौजवान धरने पे बैठे हुए हैं महंगाई से जनता परेशान है कानून व्यवस्था वो पटरी से उतर चुकी है महिला सुरक्षा के बड़े बड़े दावे वो खोखले हो चुके हैं और देश और उत्तर प्रदेश की सरकार वो जनता का ध्यान मुख्य मुद्दों से हटाने के लिए नाम बदलने की पॉलिटिक्स करती है लेकिन जनता वो सब कुछ जानती है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी आज हर मोर्चे पे फेल है जनता बदलाव चाहती है जनता भारतीय जनता पार्टी के किसी छलावे में अब आने वाली नहीं Imran continues to stay on with us. Imran, you know, the BJP hitting out both at Asaduddin OVC and also most importantly at Congress for coming up with the name Hyderabad and ensuring that it's not changed to anything else for so long. But uh, Asaduddin OVC says it's a dream and it's not going to turn into a reality. Once again, like we have seen in different parts of the country, especially in poll season, this is the next big controversy doing the rounds in Telangana. Well, this has been a long-standing promise of the BJP that if they come back to power, last time we saw the GHMC elections to municipal elections, that if they come back to power, they'll rename Hyderabad as Bhagya Nagar. And this is an uh, idea which the BJP has always been uh, promising and saying that if they're elected to power, they will rename Hyderabad as ba Bhagya Nagar. Some way saying the moving away from the Hyderabad, uh, Muslim identities which, which gets it to, to a Hindu identity as a Bhagya Nagar. Uh, this is what BJP's poll promises, poll plank is, to which even both OAC attacked uh, uh, the, the BJP saying that this will never happen and they will never allow it to happen, mm. uh, the renaming of Hyderabad in, uh, to Bhagyanagar. Same KTR similarly has, uh, attacked it, saying that the, the, the OLP chief minister had no other better okay. job to do than just renaming The BJP of has cities. come out, uh, you know, in great confidence to say that we're going to change the name to Bhagyanagar within 30 minutes of coming to power. Let me quickly go across to Krishna Sagar Rao, the BJP joining us on the phone line. Sir, uh, while that promise has been made by the BJP, a lot of criticism coming in from its rival parties who say this is going to be a dream only, it's not going to turn into a reality. Come may what? See, while Bharatiya Janata Party has about 37, uh, you know, immediate action points after we come to power in Telangana, this happens to be one of them. And why is it a dream? I think uh, he has to go back to school, Mr. YC, and uh, learn again and not be so ignorant to not notice what is happening in the country. We have changed not just the names of certain roads, which mm. are big, as big as Prime Minister's residence road, mm. uh, into what we have done, but also changed so many cities' names because the idea is not to be subservient to the past history. It is not being subservient to the foreign rulers who have left their names and uh, and the uh, government. The, the question being asked by the opposition, Mr. Rao, is why is this turning out to be an election issue for the BJP instead of talking about development, Vikas, and what needs to be done for the people? No, it is not. OIC is speaking selectively what we have said. We have been talking about, as I said, 36 action points, but he selectively picks what he likes to make an issue of. Mm. This is a non-issue and it's not about dream. It will be done. It has been done several times over in the country where Bharatiya Janata Party okay. states are being It's one of the many promises which have been made by the BJP. BJP you're saying that Tasadudan Ovesi is trying to give it his own spin. Many thanks Mr. Rao for speaking to us. As far as uh, KTR is concerned, he's also come out to send out a message to Yogi Adityanath. says the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister must instead focus on his own state. Listen in. Yogi ji also has renamed himself, I think. We should focus more on Uttar Pradesh and less on other things. You know, BJP is of no consequence, no relevance here, and I promise you, we'll beat them in Gosha Mahal as well. Last time, they won 119 seats from 119 seats, that was in Gosha Mahal. This time, we'll win in Gosha Mahal. We'll win in Gosha Mahal. And the BJP has the ability to win. The BJP has the ability to win. If there is someone in Telangana today, then there is only one in BRS, there is no Congress. The Telangana minister says it's only the BRS that can take on the BJP and defeat the BJP in the pole-bound state of Telangana. With that, a quick break. Lots more lined up on the other side.